Hi, welcome to my practice range. First off, let me show you my measuring rope. I made it out of nylon rope. It goes all the way up to 10 meters. I put flags at each meter and yeah, that's, it's good by meters, good by meters. I, for me, I like meters better. I'm at angering targets here and right now, and right now for my focus, it's on accuracy because I promised Andy Fisher of thrownin.com that I was gonna do his burpee challenge. And the burpee challenge involves accuracy. So I followed one of his tips, which is use golf tees. And the reasoning behind using golf tees is because you aim small, miss small. And that's what we're gonna do. The cool thing about using the golf tees is if you're using a paper target, it's almost negative if you don't hit the paper target. But for here with the golf tees, it's more positive because if I hit here, then I'm like, oh, I'm six inches off. And if I hit here, I know I'm two inches off. So it's generally a positive experience if you're aiming at something small. That's what I think. So this is my bag. Oh God, full of knives. It's an AWP bag. I got it at Lowe's for like 20 bucks and it holds like a ton of knives. And this big file, it's a 10 inch bastard file, but for some reason, flat bastard isn't on the packaging. So, but that's what you want, flat bastard. So look for it right there. I'm gonna throw some knives today that I really like for the accuracy challenge, which are these thin ones. These are the Flying Steel East ones. This is the Crescent Work Slim Jims. They're about 10 inches long and they're almost the same weight. And what I like about these is that 10 inch slim knives fly a lot farther for me than it does with a, a thicker knife. I don't know why, it just works better. So I'm gonna use this for the accuracy challenge. Depending on what I'm practicing on, it could be for what I want to do in the next video. It could be just testing out knives, but I always start off with a warm up, and this is my warm up. I've been using this one by two just to make sure that I'm not going above a certain distance, and I just do that because I know I start to, I'll start to inch back in <laughs> unknowingly. I just do it. So this just helps just to keep you at the right distance. I actually start really close. Now, if you're beginning in no spin throwing and you start this close, and let me step off to the side, right? It'll lay flat. It's actually very difficult to throw from this distance correctly. I only throw from this distance because I like doing the fed in technique. It really forces you to do the fed in technique correctly. It involves your whole body, this whip-like motion. I will do a tutorial once I get good at it, but see, you have to like use, you have to use your abdominals and kind of contract as well as whip it forward. So, um, that's what, oops, oops. <laughs> that's how I practice. Once I've had a lot of consistent sticks at a certain distance, I inch this back maybe like by a foot and I keep practicing. Oops. Ah! <laughs> I keep practicing my technique. And it's, it's different with no spin, your release changes, so it might take a little while to get used to that distance from a foot away. I just keep inching back. I'm not really measuring out. I'm not like, oh, two meters and two feet. I just move back farther and I just use that as a goal. I use that. <laughs> it's hard to talk and throw. I use that as a goal for me when I keep going back farther and farther. Now for me, where things get dicey is the four meter mark. Let me see if I can get it without warming up. So that's why I like to inch backwards. I'm usually more successful once I've warmed up at every foot. I just work on my consistency. Of course, my goal is to get everyone to stick. And you know, if I get everything to stick, then I move back farther. What I find for me, I just hate standing still. I hate being stuck at a distance. I'll just start moving around. And I love to do this at the end of practice, especially. You throw from any distance and you should be able to stick at every distance.
So usually what I find if I get stuck, if I just start moving around, I can go like, I could nail the four meter distance. It's a way to get rid of the roadblock in my brain just to get, remember, oh, this is what a good throw feels like. I never end practice with a bad round. Either I go up a little closer and make sure I stick all the knives so I end practice on a good note. So yeah, that's how I practice. The next video that's coming up is the burpee challenge. I'm working on my three meter accuracy. <laughs> I'm trying to aim for that small T. Um, and my husband's gonna join me. That's my cameraman. So uh, stay tuned for that burpee challenge. Bye. I can do it. I think I'm gonna win. How did this all happen? How did it happen? So um, I've always liked female heroines. Like I grew up watching like the X-Men cartoon and I would watch Xena and her chakram, you know. Your husband's gonna kick your butt. You sitting out here practicing, I've been doing you know, important things like flying. What, are you still talking?